Hello everybody! Welcome to today's first meeting of Bean Glass's art direction. Congratulations on getting the job. Uh, I'm Annabelle, I am the creator. Um, heads up, Bean Glass is Irish uh, because we have based our story today on uh, the Black Thief and uh, the Knight of Glen. Uh, this is because of originally an assignment during uni, can you imagine? But look at us now. We're creating a beautiful new show and you know what, let's just get into it. So our first sort of section is our main vibe. What we're looking for here is green... Okay, our watchword, our log is adventure is the watchword, which means that anything to do with adventure, anything to do with going outside and being in nature or just around people, that's what we're going for. We want to show kids or young adults that, you know, outside isn't so bad. It may not have air conditioning, but like there are stars and, you know, we might have an environmental message in there. It's not our main goal, but that's sort of what we want. Um, we've also got a couple of different uh, character ideas. One is a dancer, one is a bulky as rough person. Basically, we're going for heroes who can do the same thing in two different ways. Um, let's move on to the actual styles that we're looking for. So our story style is going to be kind of like a mix between... Um, Agatha Christie's like mystery and uh, the last airbender's sort of intense but very childish and still uh, dealing with the same with the huge dish issues that you know maybe younger audiences uh, wouldn't have normally gone for but now since Avatar and since Korra and since all of these sort of huge shows like Steven Universe, we can finally talk about it with kids. Um, and so our story style will be sort of serious, but we're going to add a little bit of a Shrek twist where it's always going to have some sort of a silliness to it. Um, that's our main thing. We want to keep it not necessarily just for kids, but kids need to be able to watch it and understand it and that is the just you know what that's our main goal that's what we want we want everyone to be able to watch this or start a conversation in it even if it's just about going outside like hey mom i just want to can i go ride in my bike around the cul-de-sac and that sort of thing now our art style uh is going to be similar to sort of that three-tone cartoon that uh, we're trying to get to, like um, Futurama and The Simpsons, uh, Stoked, A Kind of Magic, which is, you know, a kid's show from the early 2000s. Um, you know, we're, we're going to keep our shading and our realism sort of to a minimum, unless we sort of go deep into our... Uh, you know, seriousness, like we need to have deep face-ups of, uh, face, uh, close shots of our, like, main protagonists or main antagonists in really serious e episodes, but for the most part we're going for that fun kind of let's get out and go have fun sort of thing. Um, that art style has to remain sort of three-tone, it if you've uh, as many colors as you want colors colors are key colors are the way we are going to tell most of our story um before we tell it um yeah so actually let me just move on to that so today we'll be looking at our characters and our environments um our main character is b also known as princess beatrice january smithington fitzwilliam um, she is the daughter of Queen Generous, our main bad guy. Uh, now, B is, uh, like most, uh, teen teenage princesses these days, she does not care for gender roles, gender norms, that is, and so she wears pants. But she doesn't do that because she's against gender roles. She does that because she wants to be like her mentor, who is Kaylee, 
our, our heart, which I'll get to later. Um, now, her colours currently, uh, in the first three episodes of the show, are going to be uh, those innocent blues. But as the story transitions, we're going to have her colours transition into more of the uh, deep foresty type of greens. Not necessarily innocent greens, but she, she's going to have uh, as much sort of natural tendency on her as we possibly can. If she can look like a tree, that's probably best. Um, she is a dancer and she doesn't have one of her legs. Instead of a leg, she has um, a sword. <laughs> she uses that to fight uh, because nothing is going to hold her back except for, you know, maybe her psychology and that sort of thing. Um, her prosthetic is actually arm guards along, uh, like, surrounding the sword that she uses so that, you know, she doesn't uh, freak anyone out. And her foot that she uses is porcelain. So we're... We haven't quite gone into all the details on them, so like we haven't done all the Ming Dynasty type of things because we actually do want to use those, but um, it's just uh, we're having some trouble actually figuring out the uh, way to get it painted on at the moment. Um, some expressions from her. Uh, she's generally pretty happy. She's more empathetic and optimistic and she's literally, she always has a smile. So on her left, she has a dimple and her lips just sort of go up like that um that's not anything to do with her that's actually something to do with her character rather she um she does tend towards the happy side um also she doesn't actually have any uh breasts at all as much as she's a 16 year old girl and she probably should uh it gets revealed later in the story that she is actually the spirit of adventure and in a previous life, she lost all of her uh, breasts. Uh, that's a really interesting story that we'll get into later. Um, some turnarounds and some poses. Um, like I said, dancer, she loves doing all that sort of thing. So if we can get her in as much of a graceful way of uh, moving as possible, that'd be perfect. Now, Kaylee, our heart, she actually goes through the most change throughout at least the first three episodes. Um, so Kaylee is an orphan, but she is uh, was the handmaid to Queen Generous, you know, um, and Queen Generous being the big bad, she corrupted her a little bit. Um, now, Kaylee's colours, they start out the deep blue, because she's Scottish, um, and but she has a trim, a uh, green trim, uh, very artificial looking, uh, that is from, basically means that she's under Queen Generous's control, but eventually she'll move more towards B's innocent blue colours, um, that'll be her main colour for, uh, for the rest of the series, but right now I've just got the, um, the first episode's, uh, sets of colours up there. Now also, Kaylee is basically just an effeminate, uh, Captain America. So that, that is our reference for her. Um, here are some expressions. Now, Kaylee has some thick neck muscles. We can't forget about the neck muscles, but also we can't forget about her freckles. Her freckles are the same colour as her hairline. Um, that's just so that we uh, can move from one thing down to the next on a very easy sort of set. Um, also, Kaylee is usually happy, but her face has sort of a resting bitch face that we're... Well, she's not going to change because it helps her be intimidating because she is our Knight of Glen, or indeed Jen. Um, here's our turnarounds and poses. Um, now, you can look at those notes in your own time. I've sent you all a link to the uh, PDF for the book. Um, here is our character lineup. So Kaylee is a big character. B is a very small Queen Generous always wears heels and stands up as straight as she possibly can. And then Fredbert and Oscar are B's half-brothers. They are... Well, one of them's going to die, uh, unfortunately. But um, Fredbert will be our third character to join into our little trio. And he'll be on adventures. He'll be sort of like a moral centre, but also more so focused on science. Um, alrighty, so here are some environment notes. 
Um, now, the key thing with all of our environment, anything to do with the environment, is that you only have to draw just enough detail. So it doesn't have to be, like, all covered in bricks. It doesn't have to be all covered in sparkles. You just need enough that we can see the texture. That is our main thing. Um, also, with interior stuff, we only need the three-tone. Do not, uh, like, interiors, we are looking to make them ugly and gross because we don't want to be inside now our sunsets um with sunrise every episode is going to start with the sunrise and this uh that means that we have to start them off very slowly like they have to have not a lot of col different colors and see there with the sunset we can uh, we add colors that'll be the end of an episode whether it happens over a couple of days or not it will end with the night coming on and that will be where we have more detail in the colors and everything so there's more detail because the end of every episode we're going to have learnt something and we're going to see it differently and that that's basically our entire thing with this entire show no matter what we're going to be using uh fairy tales we're going to be using uh stupid little morals once you, the starting, the opening, we're going to see what that is differently, sort of thing. Um, and now our forests. Forests will be our main sort of setting. Uh, there's three different types, Enchanted, Cursed, and Passage. Now, Passage, we don't really have to worry about. It's just green, we're walking through it, we're getting to another town, or we're having a story that's just sort of while we're walking. Uh, with Enchanted and Cursed Forests, they have two very different ones. So Enchanted Forests are blue, they have deep mossy colours, they have Will-o'-the-Wisps hanging about because we are in the middle of uh, Britain. And then our Cursed Forests, they have more of a yellow, sort of a gross look. That's only because they've been cursed. I mean, yeah, they've been cursed, exactly. Um, and so we just need to make sure that uh, it looks a little off. Kind of like the first forest in Snow White. That's our, that, that's something to look at. But also have a look at um, forests in Massachusetts. Because, uh, yeah, those are sort of what our cursed forest will look like. Um, now, here is some just some work in progress for some scenes. Uh, this one takes place on the parapets of the castle. Um, sort of similar to uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, 358 over two days. And then this one, this one's a little scarier. This is when Kaylee is uh, about to kill uh, Oscar, which we can get into later. Um, but yeah, so obviously a lot of a lot more work to do be done. But thank you for coming to this first meeting. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. Um, let's just be the best we can be, okay? Alrighty. Well, have a great day. Bye.